2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. The next stage of the Eastern Conference playoff battle begins here. Game one of the conference semifinals. Both these teams have survived and moved one step closer to the title. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. Our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Bam Adebayo is a first-time All-Star in 2020. He was the 14th pick in 2017. And he said, whoever gets drafted, you want to play the right way. My situation was different. I had to sit. You gain experience and reps during practice. Once you get to do it in a game, the leash gets longer and you get to become who you want to be. And Kevin, he's become one of the best young big men in the league. All right, thank you, David. So the opening lineup for the Heat, Butler and Olenek, the forward duo. Dragic is out there with Hero. And it's Adebayo in at the five. And for the Bucks, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the five down low. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. And here's Holiday. Middleton outside. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Fades. No good off the back of the rim. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for Miami. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does. So the size paying off. Out of the Kumbo, kicks to Holland. Passes it to Middleton. Shoots over Trogic. Middleton can't get it to go. And here we go. It's Butler. Giannis with it. Back to Holiday. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That's his first foul. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Here's DiVincenzo. Five on the clock. Pass two out of the Kumbo. It's blocked. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first basket. The Bucs have gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. DiVincenzo against Adebayo. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Agic against Holiday. Trying to get open is Lopez. The shot by Holiday, no good. Yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They, right now, are searching for a buck. Smart play by Jimmy Butler. Spots the open man. Tack up an assist. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Rebound by Olenek. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Hero passes to Olenek. Here's Hero. The pass to Autobio. Lopez with the block. Excellent off-ball awareness as Brook was able to get over there and swat it away. Middleton for three. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Hero passes to Autobio. Good ball movement here by Miami. Cloak loose and stolen by DiVincenzo. There's the lob. Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. 
Every night, there's something that Giannis does on the floor where you just have to put your hands on your head. Wow, what a move. Rockets the pass to Hero. Dishes it to Butler. They get a hand on it. It's so about it's a Kumbo. Shots good by Middleton. Tough to contest when a guy that size can get the shot off that quickly. Middleton with a nice quick release. Outside Dragic. Has to win it. They need this. Rebounded by the Bucks. And it's Anadokounmpo penetrated. He makes that one drop only a second and five tries. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Time just out, great ball out. movement. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Bucks on defense. Outside Butler. Knocked loose. Stolen by Middleton. Here's Giannis. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Giannis has got six. See the way Giannis kept going and kept his eye on the basket? That helped. Hero passes to Autobio. He kicks to Dragic. Here's Hero. Just five on the clock. Drops in the tray. Hero's got his second basket of the night. That's a go-to shot for Tyler Hero. So confident in his ability to connect from deep. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. A different look for Milwaukee. Abby Portis has checked in for Lopez. Torrey Craig comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Dante DiVincenzo. The Heat also changing it up. Achua, he's checked in for Olenek. Bradley comes in for Tyler Hero. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Goran Dragic. Well, a little bit each year, Giannis gets fouled at a higher and higher clip. That shows about how much more aggressive and how much more confident and how much more usage he's had through his first few seasons. Nunn finds Butler. Shoots the three, and the rejection by Giannis! Here's Connaughton, guarded by Bradley. Connaughton passes to Portis, over Bradley. Nice shot by Portis. And guys, you'd have to say this run really triggered by their transition offense. The Heat trail by 11. Bradley baseline J on the way Craig pulls it in and it's Milwaukee's ball 
They're on a 16-3 run. And Giannis gets it to go. On to the Kumbos. Got 11. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Passes to Autobio. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the defense just all over Bam, but he hangs tough. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And he makes the first. You wonder just what it is that's next for Bam as he's shown incredible improvement in a very short amount of time as one of the more versatile bigs in the league. DJ Augustine's checked in for Drew Holiday. And Miami also making a switch. Robinson's checked in. And out of bio. Drops them both. Now here is Augustine. Floats one up. And out of bio. Sends it back. None against Augustine. Wow. Oh! Hammering it in. And I got to say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. Now here is Augustine. Pass to Antetokounmpo. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And the Heat call time here. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there, so it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. Forbes, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And there is a whistle. That goes on Bryn Forbes. That's his first foul. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. And here is Achua. There's the pass to Autobio. Five to shoot. A three from Bradley. And how about the interior defense here early on? They have really shut down the middle. Augustine with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And Connaughton has it in the corner. He can't get it to go. And it's Miami the other way. Adebayo drives in. Unable to get that one. Milwaukee leading by 11. Here's Connaughton. And Augustine kicks to Portis. 
here's Craig. Three-pointer Augustine. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Pass to none. We've got 155 left in the first quarter. Passes it to Achua. Here's Bradley. Misses off the right iron. Here's Augustine bringing it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. They lead by 11. And it's Connaughton missing. Miami's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line What's for that? one. And every bit of the body control right there for Adebayo out there going right through the contact. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. The Bucks making a switch here. Lopez is checked in. Milwaukee leading by eight. Now Augustine, he's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Pass to Craig. Fires for three. A three-pointer is right on target. And the Bucks lead by 11. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hints the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Here is Forbes, guarded by Bradley. Forbes, the pass to Connaughton. There's 38 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. And the pass to Achua. And Adebayo throws it down. Now you try your best defensively to push Bam away from the rim. That's easier said than done. None against Augustine. To the middle, here's Lopez. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Milwaukee shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. That's good from Lopez. And Lopez serves as an unbelievable case study for someone who changed his game over time. I mean, almost in a season. So specifically, how he added the three-point shot, it's made him such a valuable asset to this offense. That one falls, so he hits both of them. It, and it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. And so it's Milwaukee. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. This is what Giannis Antetokounmpo recently told us when he was asked about his goals this past offseason. 
For me personally, I just want to get better. I want the team to get better. I want me to get better individually and um, just win the whole thing. And for Giannis, Greg, the consistency from range has been a focal point. Yeah, the more accurate he is from outside, the wider the driving lanes become, making him nearly impossible to stop. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And quite a position here for the Bucks to be in. What do you think, guys? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. The defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. That's they've great. got Dante DiVincenzo. Chris Middleton is out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Craig in at the power forward. Milwaukee leading by 13. Here is Forbes. Now here's Dragic. Pass to Hero. Dragic dishes to Olenek. And it's Brook Lopez with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Drew Holiday is checked in for the Bucks. Heat also with the sub. Butler's checked in. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Dragic against Holiday. Got to respect the mid-range play of Goran Dragic right there. The left-handed point guard strokes it well. Milwaukee with the ball. Middleton looking it over. Over Butler. And he overshot that one, missing. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. It's Trogic with the drive. Well, the long arms of Middleton getting up there on defense and throwing that one away. Great D that time for Middleton. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Here's Craig. Buries it down low. Craig's got four points this quarter. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. I just don't see how you climb back into the game when you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive glass. Pass to Hero. Three-pointer. Milwaukee with the rebound. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Holiday. Heat ball. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Torrey Craig. The Heat trail by 15. Hero passes to Achua. Outside Dragic. Miami no good on that time either. Bucks have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Dragic against Holiday. The Heat have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. And it's Butler missing. Milwaukee leading by 15. At the elbow, it's Antetokounmpo. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Well, not only being just an all-around more improved player, Giannis has taken some huge strides in terms of building his body up. The Bucs shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. And the Bucs making a change here. Portis is checked in. The Heat trail by 18. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Back to Dragic.
Pass to Butler. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Middleton. No good off the front eye. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. Holiday surveying the floor. And there's a foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That'll be his second foul of the game. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Giannis against Olenek. Here's Hansa Takumbo. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. It was a huge night for Giannis Antetokounmpo at the offensive end of the floor. That length and athleticism just proving to be too much for any defensive scheme. Now a timeout called by Miami. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Miami Heat. Outside Butler. Back to Dragic. They could use a bucket. He takes it up and lays it in. Dragic has got six in the quarter. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. Hanta Takumbo dishes to Holiday. Second shot opportunity. That one goes in. Andre the Kumbo's got 20 points. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Butler on the wing. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, pretty good show of strength there by Jimmy Butler, able to convert even after the hit. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And the Bucks making a change here. Augustine's checked nice in. Shot. Then for the Heat, Adebayo is checked in for Achua. Bradley comes in for Hero. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Goran Dragic. The free throw drops for Butler. Now, Jimmy's an interesting personality on the team. So between what the staff demands of him and what he demands of the teammates, that can be a delicate balance. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for the Bucks. The pass to Olenek. Augustine against none. And the whistle blows. It'll be on Pat Connaughton. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. And here's none. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Lock at six. And again, it's the Heat missing. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. It's good on the putback. And the Bucks lead by 21. 
I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. None finds Butler. Let's it go from 11. And the rejection by Giannis! Well, beyond the physical stuff, what I like about Giannis right now is the feel for the game. That time, great timing defensively. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down and with some pressure. thunder. Yeah. Pass to Autobio. Stolen by Middleton. And here comes Augustine, leading the fast break. The shot by Adetokounmpo. Nobody around. Nice open look, but it's no good. Bradley kicks to nine. They grab their own miss. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. He dishes it to Augustine. Kicks it down to Middleton. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. In the corner, Nunn with it. To halt the run, sinks the three-pointer. Nunn's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Bucks leading by 22. Augustine looking around. Passes it to Connaughton. to the paint. Here's Giannis. Well, sometimes it takes a while for all that length in Giannis to catch up to those feet, but once he does, man, he can explode. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Miami Heat. Pass to none. There's 154 left in the first half of basketball. 16 feet away. Olenek can't hit. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Yep, that's a great look from Giannis there. 137 left in the first half. None kicks to Bradley. Back to none. Inside. Outside Bradley. On the line, it's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his fourth rebound in this one. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. And the Bucks with some changes. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. Tory Craig comes in for Antetokounmpo. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Chris Middleton. Then for the Heat, Silva's checked in. And Harkless is subbed in for Jimmy Butler. None with it. The pass to Silva. 54 seconds left in the second quarter. Down low. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And it's blocked. Now Harkless. There's 31 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Drops in the layup for two. Harkless has got his first points of the game. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Augustine against none. Augustine, no luck. Miami's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Robinson kicks to none.
pass to Autobio. Three seconds left, and it's good on the layup. 11 points for Bam Autobio. You see the offense coming around for Adebayo. Entered the league with raw skills, but he's had the benefit of great coaching. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, it was just getting stops and uh, getting rebound and getting out and pushing, uh, finding lanes, finding open guys. And you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Well, for the Bucks, boy, have they ever started this series off on the right foot. They've thrown down the gauntlet here in Game 1 with their intensity and effectiveness on both ends of the floor. Now, they've got a little bit of an intimidation factor going into the second half. And Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Milwaukee? Well, we're seeing Giannis in attack mode. He's playing with real tenacity and making every shot count. It's a relentless siege, and the other team is struggling to recover from it. Jack, let's get your insight on Miami. Well, it wasn't a very good half for them in the glass. And as a team, you never want to get pushed around like I push you and Ernie around. Uh, that's reason number one. Uh, that, that's why the score it is the way it is. Jeez. Push back, man! And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference Semifinal. You look at Antetokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. Yeah, pretty much all throughout that first half, and he was taking care of his business on the low blocks and getting more than his fair share of dunks. Yeah, there's not any guy defensively that was bodying him up or contesting the shot, so right now he's feasting. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinal. Here's who Eric Spolstra is starting the second half with. In the middle, it's Olinick in Adebayo. Rogic is out there with Hero. And it's Butler in at the small forward. Stolen by Middleton. Ghana is with it. Now guarded by Dragic. And the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Antetokounmpo's got his third assist on the night. Rogic the pass to Butler. Loads it up for Adebayo, an emphatic LU jam. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there, vertical, good hands, and the big throwdown. Onto the Kumbo, finds DiVincenzo. And Giannis throws it down. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Rogic against Onto the Kumbo. Passes to Butler. Six to shoot. Over Middleton. Butler, no good. And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. Yeah, their energy level's been amazing. Battery bar still full. Hustling and still working hard out there. Back to Butler. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Onto Takumbo looking it over. And Giannis throws it down. This is what makes Giannis such an elite player, his ability to score in those difficult situations down low with lots of bodies around. Holiday against Dragic. 
And the layup falls. Dragic has got eight points. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's ten points in a row in the paint. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Chua, he's checked in for the Heat. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Pass to Hero. Now here's Olenek. Butler on the way. Just five to shoot. Over Middleton. Butler no good. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. The Heat shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And the first one drops. Both good from the line that time. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Here's Holiday, and there's the pass to DiVincenzo. To the inside, and to DeCumbo. Lays it up and banks it in. Onto DeCumbo's got 30 points. Well, this is where Giannis does all of his damage. He gets inside the paint, has the size to work you back, and then stretch out and score. That one's not going to go. Holiday with the defensive effort. Middleton against Butler. Some solid defense from Butler. The Heat have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Hero, no good. Bucks leading by 23. Here's DiVincenzo. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Heat also with a sub. Robinson's checked in for Butler. What's up? We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Hero passes to Achua. 
kicks it to Dragic. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. On to Takumbo with the bucket. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Rogic the pass to Hero. The dish to Olenek. Out to the right wing. Robinson for three. The rebound by the Bucks. Giannis has got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. It's good. They are just killing them on the interior. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Timeout called the Heat. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. A different look for Milwaukee. Torrey Craig comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for the Heat. Outside Robinson. Back to Dragic. Can they get it? It's deflected. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Pass to Robinson. Six on the shot clock. Dragic with a wide-open look. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Dragic has got five points now in the quarter. Man, that's sure got to be a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in that first half. Here's Holiday. Onto Takumbo trying to free himself up. The shot by Holiday, no good. Here's Bradley. Makes it off the glass. A great at maintaining some balance on that play. Bradley gets physical but stays with the play. Forbes, the pass to Portis. This is to Holiday. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. The Bucks shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Two, Holiday. At the one for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. I don't know if Drew Holiday's an underrated player, but he certainly is underappreciated with the way he can go at you as a two-way guy. He can score, and he can also guard positions one through four. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. The Heat also changing it up. Silva's checked in, and it's Kendrick Nunn in for Goran Dragic. All three throws, good from Drew Holiday. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Heat. Pass to Silva. He kicks it to Robinson. Outside Bradley. Shot clock at six. That one doesn't drop. And Milwaukee the other way now. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. 
their rebounding edge right now massive. For the three, the Heat rebound. A nice shot by Silva. Silva's got his first bucket of the night. A hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. And Holiday has it in the corner. That is prototype rebounding right there. He gets the position down low, boxes out, and then corrals it. Bradley, no one around him. Bradley with another miss. Milwaukee's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Softly drops in the floater. Holiday's got eight points in the quarter. Killing them softly there. Holiday with the floater over the top. And that puts the D in a tough spot. Left side, Bradley. None wide open. And a miss there on the triple. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. 157 left in the third quarter. None looking around. To the left side wing. Robinson for three. Craig pulls it in. Here's Connaughton. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, the thing is they're controlling the pace right now. And if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Bradley. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And the Bucks making a change here. Augustine's checked in. And Miami with a change here, too. Adebayo is checked in for Achua. Here is Forbes, guarded by Bradley. Forbes can't get it to go. Well, he had the perfect opportunity to finish that one, guys, and just flat out blew it. Miami again turning it over. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks, And then for Miami, Akpala's checked in, and it's Butler in for Robinson. One oh three left here in the third quarter. Milwaukee has gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Craig kicks to Forbes. The Bucks working the ball around. To the middle. And the layup is good. Forbes has got six. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pass to none. And here's Bradley. Hits the three-point bomb. You know, coaching staff, when we talk to them, always talking about Bradley being more aggressive, more assertive. They feel like he gets more comfortable if he does that. Lopez against Adebayo. Lopez, no luck. The Heat shooting just 34% from the floor. Here's Butler, and he lays that one in. He's got nine. Well, out in transition, Jimmy Butler scanning the court, found an angle, and does some damage. 16 seconds left in the third quarter. Now here is Augustine. He is still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Lopez. And good. Coming in on the assist by DJ Augustine. Augustine's got three assists now in this one. Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. We'll get right back to the action when we return.
And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. We've got Hunter Jacumbo. Brooke Lopez is out there with Wilson. Then there's D.J. Augustine. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. And Adebayo sends it back. Jumps up. And it's Iguodala with the jam. Iguodala still very comfortable, even at the advanced ages, out in transition. And here's Augustine. Outside, onto Dekumbo, trying to get open is Lopez. Onto Dekumbo, no good. To the paint, here's Akpala. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Good anticipation there from Iguodala, who is a very good passer. And so it's Augustine who will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. With the fadeaway. And it's Miami with the rebound. And it's the Heat on the break. Here's Nunn. Misses the three. Bucks have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. And again, the Bucks miss. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Timeout called the Bucks. Giving up a run here, can, can they turn it around? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. And Miami making a change here. Heroes checked in. Here's Augustine. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Kicks it out to Wilson. And the Bucks miss again. The Heat have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Akpala, count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment, goes straight to the rim. Goran Dragic has checked in for Kendrick Nunn. Milwaukee's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Augustine against Dragic. Baseline jumper. Augustine, that's good. Augustine's got his first two points of the night. He'd have gone an outstanding 4-5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Dragic the pass to Akpala. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Now the pass to Hero. Banked in off the glass. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. Well, the run simply has given them a chance. Great work on both ends. They've got to now ratchet up a notch. And there's Augustine. That's good on the assist from Lopez. 
Augustine's got four points now in the quarter. The Heat have gone five of six from the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Rockets the pass to Hero. Six on the shot clock. No good on the shot. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Augustine with it. Down low. And Lopez gets it to go. Lopez powering through that time. Lopez has gone two of four from the field. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Shots good by Hero. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Pass to Wilson. He dishes it to Augustine. It's hauled in by the Heat. Iguodala has got four rebounds in this game. They've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Augustine finds Lopez. Now Wilson. Shot clock at five. Here's Augustine. Good work there as it goes. Well, not a single point in the first quarter, but he's found his game, and you can tell he's got a bit of his swagger back. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Dragic, and that one is good. Now, opposing coaches telling their defenders be more physical with Dragic. That time he took advantage and doesn't mind getting knocked around a bit in there. Here's Augustine, and the shot is good. Augustine's got eight here in the quarter. I mean, could we say he was playing possum a bit there in the first half? Because he seems to be a different guy out there, way more assertive. Dragic looking for an opening. Igudala against Wilson. Here's Harkless. That one falls. Coming off Igudala's feed. Igudala's got his third assist on the night. Outside Wilson. Kicks to Augustine. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. That's his first At the line for your bucks, DJ Augustine, taking two shots. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Augustine. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Bobby Portis has checked in for Brooke Lopez. The Heat also changing it up. Silva's checked in. Robinson is subbed in for Tyler Hero. Both free throws good from Augustine. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Miami Heat. Passes it to Igudala. Back to Dragic. That's good. It's his seventh made basket in 14 tries. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shot's now starting to fall. Guarded by Robinson. Back to Augustine. Here's Silva. Igudala up top. Defended by Portis. Shoots from 12. Igudala, no good. Milwaukee has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And the call on the shot, it sends him to the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. At the line for your bucks. Oh, no. 
passes onto Takumbo at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. Bradley's checked in for the Heat. Good on the second free throw. And uh, Miami shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Pass to Silva. Good ball movement here by Miami. Let's it go from deep. And it's Bradley. That time on the assist from Robinson. And they're showing much more focus here in the second half. More effort as well. And their offense starting to show signs of life. Outside Portis. <laughs> And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. At the line, the Bucks. Bobby Portis. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Both teams will make substitutions. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Miami has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Rockets the pass to Hero. Now here's Butler. Six to shoot. Some solid defense from Ana de Kumbo. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Even Chenzo passes to Middleton and the slam dunk by Hunter Tacumbo. Feeling more and more comfortable in this offense. That's just Chris Middleton making a play. Inside, Olinick dishes to Dragic. Hunter Tacumbo pulls it in. Giannis has got his 16th rebound on the night. Olinick against Holiday. The feed now to Giannis. The kick out to Holiday. Portis trying to free himself. The offensive rebound. Back to Giannis. Middleton outside. Outside Holiday. Here's the three. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. And here are the Heat. 146 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Igudala. Good on the shot. Igudala has got four points in the quarter. Well, he fights through some aggressive defense, Igudala, using those broad shoulders and not taking no for an answer. Outside Wilson. The pass to Augustine. Here's Portis. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter. That one, no good. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for the Bucks. 
And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He did all the dirty work that they needed, clearing out space underneath and securing rebounds. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. There's 57 seconds left in the game. Augustine against Bradley. Here's Silva. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Miami, Chris Silva, taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Both shots good from the strike. And the Bucks with possession here. Pass to Augustine. Over Bradley. And that one hits back iron. Here's Miami now. It's a four second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Down low. Here's Silva. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And here's Augustine. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Giannis, an impressive performance for you. What was the key? You know, I just want to thank my teammates because they're doing a great job finding me. And I'm just trying to, you know, try to be myself and try to wait, wait for my time to finish it. Well, it looked great tonight, man. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference Playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports.